Hi, I'm Dr. Garcia at the Biotechnology Program at NC State University and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use our inverted microscopes. I wanted to start with a little orientation of the different parts of the microscope. Um, so first of all, the light source for this microscope is actually up here and passes through the sample down this way and then the objectives are actually under the stage. And we can switch the objectives simply by rotating this little nose piece, it's called, down here. We have two different kinds of objectives on our nose piece, indicated by the color. So the silver objectives are optimized for fluorescence microscopy, while the black objectives are optimized for bright field and phase contrast microscopy. Keep these in mind because it's really important to use the correct objective when you're using or when you're going to be taking pictures and also when you're visualizing yourselves. In order to focus our samples, we're going to use this knob right here. It's actually two knobs where the larger one focuses coarse adjustment while the smaller one focuses the fine adjustment. Obviously, we need to turn on our microscope first of all. So in order to turn on the bright field or the white light, the switch is right here, the screen switch. And then there's also this dimmer knob, which can actually change the intensity of the white light that's passing through the sample. Next is the eyepiece, which is where you look through the microscope in order to see your samples. And this eyepiece is adjustable so that you can make it comfortable for you. So this is a very important knob for you guys to know about because it switches the light or the direction of the light between the eyepiece and the camera. Last thing to talk about is the stage. The stage has a slide holder if you are looking at cells that have been mounted on slides. Alternatively, you can take this piece out if you're looking at a plate like we will be doing today plate will fit within this little rectangle and then we can use this knob over here to move the plate in any direction. Now that we've got our basics about how this microscope is set up, we can now start to focus on ourselves. So I've got our plate already on the stage here. What we're going to do is we're going to use bright field. So we want to use the black 4x objective. We want to um, bring the objectives all the way down, and we do that by turning the course adjustment knob all the way um, towards the wall until it stops. Once it's all the way towards the wall and it can no longer go any further, um, look through the eyepiece, and then slowly turn the knob towards you until the cells come into focus. If you look through the eyepiece and you can't see any light actually coming through, one of the things that you might want to try doing is changing the dimmer switch or increasing the intensity of the white light that's coming through. You should be able to see the light passing through the sample on the stage. The other thing to try is to make sure that the knob over here is set to bino, which means that the light is coming through to the eyepiece as opposed to going to the camera. If, you are, if you've already tried these things and are still not able to see your cells, or if you're having trouble focusing on your cells, please ask your instructor. Do not try manipulating any of the other knobs or sliders because those have already been placed in the correct position by your instructor. Once you've been able to focus on your cells at 4x, you can change to a higher magnification by changing the objective. Then use the fine adjustment to bring the cells into focus. To visualize our cells using fluorescence, we're going to need to turn off the bright field, use the silver objectives, and the light source at the back of the microscope. In order to visualize grain fluorescent proteins, we're going to need to use the cyan LED, or the C, on the light source. 
You can focus on your cells using the fine adjustment knob. In order to visualize red fluorescence, use the green LED in the back or the G setting. 